Hey everybody, Random Andrew here. I am downtown, again, downtown St. Thomas. If you hear that rumbling, it's a really nice Corvette over there. Oh, the toys people drive around this town. Some really nice vehicles. It's uh, Labor Day weekend for Canadians. It's the Monday of Labor Day weekend, September 5th. I've got these nice murals. I'm hoping I'm getting that mostly in frame. I've got nothing but glare here, so there you go. Every once in a while you see the nice murals like that here in town. Can't wait to get a better phone that'll show you guys out a little bit better, but it'll come. So what am I doing down here? Out oh, riding the new bicycle. KHS Elite 150. Don't ask me much about it because I can't tell you much about them. All I know is it's a nice light white. I'm enjoying it, but what I wanted to show you is a few changes that have occurred downtown St. Thomas. Let me adjust my phone here. I'm not going to go all the way down here, but spent many high school years right here. Arthur Voden Secondary School. I do believe they just had a big reunion here. I didn't bother go for it. And then this uh, property where the sign is. There's some people wondering what I'm doing here. Anyways, we got the sign there. It used to be a battery store and it caught fire and blew up way back during the high school years. So that was like mid 90s. Yeah, mid 90s. That's how long ago it's been since I was at Vote. And I um, graduated the, I think, in class of 99. And then this old time church, it's been here for a long time. Probably longer than the school, but St. John's. Of course, the parking area here. But one of the bigger changes, one of the bigger changes, you notice this whole corner here where this car just pulled up. It's a different building than back in the day. It's been changed for so long, I honestly can't remember what was here on this corner. And then the old bar, Birdie Bob's is uh, long gone. It burnt down, they rebuilt it, burnt down again, and then built this. It's now a place called Destination Church, and they do a lot to feed uh, the lower income to help provide dinners for people who need those dinners, can't afford the uh, nice big hearty meals all the time. So that's there, in place of where there was a bar. It's, it's different, yeah, but... Uh, Hey, it works and it helps people. So we're gonna cross real quick away right here. It says don't walk. And it's now a yellow light, but I'm pretty confident nobody's gonna run me over. Now on this corner here, used to be the YMCA building and next to it a Ford dealership. I hope I got it mostly in frame. This is YMCA was built in 1914, was damaged by fire in 1953. Uh, it was still open between 53 and 66 because I used to go swimming right here when we were kids and they had a gym and everything. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna get drowned out by bikes. I'll see. Decent bikes. I'd love to own a bike like that, but no, I don't trust myself. So back to this here. I remember when they brought it down in the late 90s, uh, friends of mine were working on the crew that helped it and ripping it apart. But if you look, you can actually see the back half of the building and the side entrance here. And you notice, hang on a sec, I'm holding on to my bike too. If you notice the downhill grade right here, and it's no longer like that. It used to be an underpass for the rail that was there. If you watch where this Jeep goes over, you'll see when he goes over the tracks they put back in. But you used to drive downhill, go under the tracks, this bridge there, back up the other side, and they just decided to do away with it, rip the whole thing out, made it a level crossing. So opened up this whole corner, you know, like a park or something would be really great in there. We've got another park just over there. rumor of low-income housing not too sure about that I don't keep up to date on what the city's gonna build 
what goes into certain properties. A lot of people are not used to seeing somebody filming a vlog, so you get lots of interesting looks where you're sitting there holding the camera, talking away, nobody else around. Where are we going next? I'm going over to the trail here. So I can show you how it's coming along this whole area. And there's something else that I want to end the video with, but we'll get there. It's going to be a little bit longer of a vlog today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. No, back behind the bar. Actually, hang on a second. No, back behind the bar. You see where these concrete barriers are? It was a little sketch pad, as we all called it. It was a miniature skate park thing. There was a vert, quarter pipe, vert, a little tabletop. There wasn't much, not worth much mentioning. But if you type St. Thomas sketch pad, I think there's some videos of it on YouTube out there. And it would have been right back in here. But now the new skate park's gonna be way down here east. So let's bring you along for a quick ride. Bear with me. I'm not gonna go too fast because I don't want to drown you out with wind noise. Now if you notice, there's another trail going off the other side over there. This trail going straight up behind the train station. Kind of like how the tracks were. Well, back when this was a booming train town, there would be a buttload of tracks covering across these lands where it's now a lot of green. The Queso Station. If you want to know any details about it, because I'm not like a tour guide, just type uh, C-A-S-O, Queso, St. Thomas, Ontario, and you'll find a whole great deal of information about it. And they're working on restoring it. It's time for a bumpy crossing, bear with me. But you're gonna get some looks from these people sitting at the old cement pad that's there. Oh well, they'll be in the vlog too. Maybe they'll see themselves one day and be like, hey, I'm in that vlog. Just like them seagulls. Now you can actually rent out, uh, it's like a ballroom, party room kind of thing there. Really old timey place, classic place to have like a wedding any kind of receptions, big fancy gatherings. Now all this land here, all this space right down to where we started on this trail, it's gonna be getting transformed over the next few years into something mighty fancy for this town. And I really hope that the community gets behind it. It'd be really cool to see the community get behind some of the projects. You see where we're heading, what we're, we're heading towards? These two funny looking car thingies here. I'd make you guess what they're for, but I'll just tell you what they were. Port Stanley, they had an incline railroad. I don't know if, you, if everybody knows Port Stanley, but Little Beach and Big Beach. Uh, Little Beach had these things. They called it incline number five, and right when you came around the corner to go up to where the parking was, these things were there against the hillside. They were still down in port when I was a kid, I remember. And uh, I think it was like five cents. They paid and go up the hill, and there's like a little uh, picnic park area up at the top. Who knows, maybe even a restaurant up there at one point in time. But yeah, inclined railroads. You don't see, around here, you don't see anything like this in service anymore. Not much left but like a cage on wheels. See in there? Mixtures from where the lights would have been. This one doesn't even have a floor. Neither of them have floors left to them anymore, long gone. The old inclined rail cars. 
Wouldn't it be cool to actually see something like that in service again? St. Thomas is a town that's on a hill. Mostly on a hill. You could have something like that as a feature, and again, I don't know where, what the purpose would be. It'd be cool to see them back in port again, but you've got to get more happening in port. But I think that's going to be it. We're at like 10 and a half minutes. Do a nice slow pan of the St. Thomas skyline. Train station in the background. And I hope you guys enjoyed this from Ross and Talbot down over here to the incline cars. This town's slowly coming back together. Or is it slowly still falling apart? You can be the judge. I think it's doing okay. Now that I'm working, it seems that way anyways. Kind of odd how that works. Anyhow, enough from me. Don't forget to click like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, because then you'll see another video every day from me. And uh, yeah, it's not scheduled programming. It's random. And don't forget to share. Have a good day, folks.